Let's take a quick look at GarageBand to see just what we have to work with. When you first log in, this is what it will look like on the laptop. The iPad is actually quite similar. Let's take a look at what everything is. Here we have our playback controls. Use these buttons to play, stop, pause, and record. Over on the left, you'll find a mixer. Click here to access a mixer for different effects. You also have instrument choices. It looks like a little bin you can pull out and select your instrument. You can always go back and change it later. And on the iPad, it looks like a series of little squares that will let you use different smart instruments. In the track view here, we have a mini mixer that allows you to pan left or right, allows you to adjust some volume, and do some basic mixing for just one track at a time. Over here we have looping. This means that as you are selecting different loops or doing work, you can just play back a small amount of measures over and over rather than stopping, pausing, going back. It will continue to loop until you turn that off. We also have a metronome. This is on the iPad and the laptop. This will help you if you are recording and you'd like to keep a consistent beat. You can also have a count in if you check one, two, three, four. One of the most popular things for kids is using the loops. These are pre-recorded loops organized by genre, instrument, and beats. This is on both the iPad and the laptop, but most people don't use them on the iPad. We also have a media browser. Use this button to snatch some recordings from iTunes, some pictures, or some videos if you're working on the laptop. GarageBand also has jingles. These are pre-recorded short little um, arrangements that you can use as background music. They're already finished and you can find them for different uh, times, either 15 seconds, around 30 seconds, or perhaps a minute. You can always zoom in, zoom out from your view here as you are doing some um, more fine tuning. So if I open up my um, editing tools here with the scissors, you will find you can change notes, you can um, select specific notes, you can do manual in entry of notes. I have another tutorial video to show you that. You can also do quantization and velocity. Quantization is if you record but you're just slightly off the beat a little bit. Um, this will take all of those notes and snap them right onto the beat so that you have a more finished sound. Velocity is how hard the note is struck um, and if you record on a keyboard you might find the, it records the velocity very low. You can use velocity to emphasize certain notes or chords. We also have a score view. You can see either the piano roll or the score view as you see on the screen. And one more thing about the loops. If you're searching through loops, um, you can search all different ways, but you can also mark your favorites if you want to come back to them later for perhaps a different project. Thank you.